Hello and welcome. This video will show the new PKS installation wizard included with the VMware Enterprise PKS 1.4 release. The installation wizard makes it incredibly easy to install and configure Enterprise PKS on vSphere. The installation wizard is packaged as an OVA file, which includes the required binaries to complete the installation, and can be installed with the standard vSphere deploy OVF template workflow. The wizard provides eight sequential steps, which gather the required details to complete the installation and configuration of PKS along with several integrations, including NSXT, vRealize Login Site, vRealize Operations, Wavefront, and the Harbor Container Registry. The first step of the wizard connects to the vCenter environment, where the wizard automatically gathers configuration variables, which limits user input requirements and ensures valid input data. The second step gathers configuration variables required for PKS networking. Supported options include Flannel or NSXT. If NSXT is selected, the user can choose to configure a new NSXT implementation that has not been prepared for PKS, or select an NSXT implementation that has been pre-configured for PKS. If the first option is selected, the wizard will gather all the required variables to fully configure the base NSXT installation with a standard deployment for PKS. If the second option is selected, the user must pre-configure the PKS management plane network, the T0 router, and the IP pools and blocks that will be used by PKS for deploying Kubernetes clusters. In either case, when NSXT is selected, the workflow first connects to the NSXT manager to gather and pre-populate configuration variables and include a sophisticated validation mechanism to help ensure entered values are cross-checked and validated. The next step is to provide identity management information. The user can select the local user database or select a remote LDAP authentication server. An option is also provided to configure the user account and authentication server as an OIDC provider to automate authentication and access configuration for Kubernetes clusters that PKS deploys. The next step enables configuration of availability zones to enable a highly available deployment. The wizard automatically gathers vCenter cluster information to enable a simple mapping between PKS availability zones and vSphere compute clusters or resource pools. Next, the wizard provides a list of data stores gathered from vCenter and allows the user to select the vSphere data store to be used for Kubernetes node, ephemeral, and permanent storage, and to select the default data store to provide persistent volume services to Kubernetes clusters. Next, the wizard provides options to configure available plan sizes, which define the size and configuration attributes of Kubernetes clusters that PKS deploys. By default, small, medium, and large plans are provided. Next, the wizard provides options to configure several additional integrations, including VMware Wavefront, vRealize Operations Manager, vRealize Log Insight, and Syslog. The last optional step is to install and configure Harbor Container Registry, including Claire Scanning and Notary Image Signing to provide secure container and Kubernetes deployments. Once the user completes the configuration dialog, the wizard prepares a downloadable configuration file and presents the entered values in a text editor window, allowing the user to validate or update any variables prior to deployment. This file can also be saved to use for future deployments. Once the user applies the configuration, the wizard provides an installation dashboard which displays the detailed status of the installation workflow. After the deployment is complete, the wizard redirects to a screen that displays the details of the deployment, including version numbers for deployed components, a deployment metadata screen, which provides configuration details, including access credentials for the deployment, and a configuration update screen, which allows the user to update the configuration on an ongoing basis. After the wizard completes, the system is ready to start deploying Kubernetes clusters immediately you can use the PKS CLI app to create clusters with a single command. Or you can connect PKS to your vRealize automation or cloud assembly services to enable self-service deployment of production-ready, on-demand enterprise Kubernetes services. To learn more about VMware PKS offerings, please visit the links on the screen or contact your VMware representative.